G'day world, Macaridan coming to you live from the Falls, Falls Farm. The Falls Farm, yes, I got it right, awesome. Um, and we're here with uh, Colleen from Joseph Mark. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, very well. Such a setting. Oh, it's pretty stunning, huh? <laughs> yeah. How long have you been here? Do you, all uh, morning? Yeah, you no, slept I've overnight? Stayed overnight. Oh, yeah? How was it? Yeah, beautiful glamping. Glamping? It was lovely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, what, what did you get up to last night? Um, chats around the fireside, lovely food, meeting yeah. lots of interesting peeps from overseas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And any, anyone stand out the most? Anyone connect with really well? Um, I met a very lovely lady who does industrial design for Apple. Oh, wow. Interesting insight into what she does. Awesome stuff. All right, so um, thanks to Everledger and Invest Sunshine Coast for um, bringing this interview. Um, so tell us a little bit about your story and how you got involved in being director for product. Yeah, so I've been at Joseph Mark for almost six years now. Uh, my background's very much been in UX, UI, so really understanding the user. And then the last few years, as more clients have come to us to understand not just how they design a good um, good product, but how they actually build a business. Yep. Um, so the last few years I've really grown into more strategy work and designing business models and working with people to take an idea through to something that they're ready for people to opt into, whether that's investment or whether it's a board green lighting a project before we then go ahead and execute. Cool. So that's what that's solely what Joseph Mark does, uh, is it? No, so we do a range of um, working with people around that kind of early idea um, process, but then we also partner with people and have our own ventures where we build out businesses and release them to the world and grow them. So, yeah, many different things. Yeah, and you're a Brizzy-based company. Yeah, um, Brizzy-based, although we also have a team in LA. We have some um, presence in Sydney and more recently we've had one of our team move over to Stockholm so wow so you've you gone global gone global <laughs> yeah so how's the journey for that been yeah great um, so LA it was oh, probably seven or eight years ago now we were invited to do the redesign of MySpace oh, wow. of all things um, and that it went well it was critically acclaimed from a design perspective it obviously didn't you know, bring MySpace back to its popularity, yeah, but yeah. it allowed them to sell the business on at a profit yep. after that. So that opened up the North America market for us, made a lot of connections. And since then, we've kind of just been working with a whole bunch of very interesting people over there and now just kind of starting that journey over in Stockholm. Wow, that's amazing stuff. So you, you helped out MySpace. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, interesting. We had... Um, so it was before my time at JM, but we had been working on a like a music charting product. Um, it was when uh, music charts were still based on sales rather than actual listening and sentiment. So we worked on a product called We Are Hunted, which was eventually bought by Twitter. Yep. Um, and so I guess that work put us on the radar for MySpace and we were invited. Apparently when the guys checked the email and had the invite to pitch, they were like, this is a prank, this is not for real. Yep. Um, and then it very much was. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So what, what, what some of the, were, you, were you working on that project yourself? No, so I joined JM around the time that we were wrapping up our work with MySpace. Yep. But one of the first projects I did work on was a, um, a video on demand platform for South America. So think Netflix for South America. Okay. So it was before Netflix was in Australia um, and it was before Netflix had really gone into having multiple accounts um, where you could share with you know people in your family. Yep. Um, so we were lucky enough to go to South America. We went to Buenos Aires, we went to Colombia and Mexico to do a big research trip. <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> um, not a holiday. Uh, no, not a holiday, <laughs> but it was amazing. Um, really just we dove deep in terms of the research talking with people we went to their houses we talked to them about how and when and why they consume um, media yep. um, but also it was a branding exercise it had to be a product that was for america for south america by south america yep. so it didn't feel like coming from a north america yep. kind of down top down experience so we talked to lots of um, what we would call cultural influencers, people yep. doing cool shit, basically. Yep. Um, that, um, so we went to all sorts of different interesting things, talking to those people as well to inform the brand. Yep. 
So you're doing a workshop at Myriad uh, in the coming days. What day is that exactly? Uh, Friday morning. Friday morning. And what will you be covering and, and what outcomes do you hope to pass on? Yeah, so um, I'll be working with our creative director, Alex Nagavi, uh, running a workshop that's focused around our recon process. So we, we do a, a, a seven day long recon, which is a very intense pr- time where we dive very deeply into an idea. Um, we assess the market around that idea. Is there some white space? What, is the, what do the audiences want and need in that? Um, what is the potential business model and how will this you know, generate revenue or survive as a business um, before we then dive into actually designing out a product vision? Yeah. So the workshop will be, I guess, just sharing our recon process, sharing a few tools that we think will be useful for people to go and, and do with their own ideas afterwards as well. And, and, and is this workshop open to exclusive tickets or...? Not sure, to not be honest. Sh- I sure. think anyone can register. Okay, well, yeah. cool. And, and, what, and, and what do you hope they pick up from the workshop? What's, what's your key, key thing that you would like them to take away? I think it's just giving people the ability to assess an idea, to know whether it's worth you know, putting more love and yep. potentially capital into before they go too far down the track. Yep, so fail fast and... Fail fast, uh, get some investment behind you, yep. tell the story well, yep. um, and know, know where you're coming from to tell the story so that you've got a good foundation as a business, not just a, an interesting idea. Yep. So you definitely see a lot of um, startups or work with a lot of startups or businesses wanting to start out. Um, what would be your pick of advice for anyone who's looking to do the same process which is you know learning to fail fast and all that what would be your key advice to them if they were about to head down that pathway oh so many things but I think um, don't underestimate how important it is just to go out and talk to people who you may be solving a problem for like go out and get that data and get that validation as soon as possible (laughs) because there's so many unknown unknowns that you do not know until you go and do that and that will always inform what you end up with yeah very important to understand the customer which you did in south south america right yeah so you went door to door and sort of interviewed and brought up a you know collected all that data yeah for that product and and did that end up working out all fine did that product launch and Yeah, so um, they were still searching for a development team to build it out um, and they did end up rolling it out into an existing product of theirs over the next couple of years. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us and make sure you keep watching for more awesome content throughout the week um, at facebook.com forward slash speech city life and you can check us out on YouTube. Is there any way um, our audience can get in touch with you Um, and and Joseph and Mark? Yeah, you can check out our handle at who is Joseph Mark. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and thank you, Everledger and Invest Sunshine Coast, for bringing you this awesome content um, to Myriad. And uh, catch you at Myriad. Shall do. Sweet. Thanks. Thank you.